Hello and welcome to That's Why We Have Hot Dogs in the Freezer and today I'm doing a recipe from the internet. This is hot dog crock pot hot dog chili. Kind of like the sign says, huh? Alright, so what we're going to do is here we have one pound of ground beef. I uh, fried off the ground beef with a third of a cup of water and then loosened it up and got everything nice and browned and then went ahead and drained the fat off threw the fat away and the and the extra water and everything and what we end up with is this pound of fairly dry ground beef so we're going to put this into our little crock pot now I got this little crock pot when I bought a big crock pot I don't know why they include these things in there I guess they think you're going to make cheese sauce or something. So, over the years I have found uses for them. And this is one of them. So, now here I have five ounces of tomato sauce. Interesting enough, the can of tomato sauce that I bought was eight ounces. So, I've got three ounces sitting over there. I'll find something to use it for later. So, there's five ounces. I've got a little spatula here to help get things out. So that was five ounces of tomato sauce. Here I have a half a cup of ketchup. Put that in. And I have a, how much mustard was that? Just a minute. I promised myself I was going to put this where I could see it, and I will. So this is one tablespoon of yellow mustard. I'll put that in there. <clears throat> do you like the little glass bowls? I bought these specifically to do these videos with because I figured the paper bowls, you couldn't see everything I had in it. So glass bowls and I can wash them. All right, so then after the mustard, I have a tablespoon of Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I guess if you're a hobbit, it's Worcestershire. Everybody else, it's Worcestershire. So we've got the Worcestershire. And then we've got two teaspoons of chili powder. Put that in. Ah! If you're not making a mess, you're not cooking. Right? Right. Okay, so that was the chili powder. Now we have a half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper and a half teaspoon of sugar. All three. Right there. And then this is kind of interesting. This is a half a teaspoon of dried onion. I actually bumped it up just a little bit more. So we'll put that in there. That's all there is to it. You just dump the stuff in and then you mix it up. And then we're going to take this and we're going to put it on in. We're going to plug in the crock pot and let this go for two and a half hours on low. But rather than wait, I'm going to go ahead and try it now because everything's cooked. We just have to let it all meld together over the next two and a half hours. So I won't be back to taste it like I normally would. I'm going to taste it now. Sorry. I know I'm going to get hate mail. I don't care. I don't want to wait two and a half hours and start everything up again and do another video. Mm hmm. Yepper. That's going to be good. So, that's been another episode of That's Why We Have Hot Dogs in the Freezer. And this has been. Crockpot hot dog chili.
If you like this episode, please like and subscribe and click the little notification bell. Oh, got a little burger hung. So anyway, pictures over here. We'll see you next time. Bye.